it is Wendy O here. Welcome back to my technical analysis basics series sponsored by Coinigy. Today we are going to go over the MACD indicator in a very basic and general way. As always, you guys, I am not a financial advisor. I am not an expert. All information for this video was taken from Investopedia and Coinigy's educational resources. Those links are down below. If you are interested in using Coinigy, the link is down below. And if you'd like to access their educational resources, you can go ahead and find them on their website. Coinigy has a plethora of educational information regarding trading and techniques. So let's go ahead and get started and talk a little bit about, about MACD. What is MACD and why do we use it? MACD stands for Moving Average Convergence Divergence. Yes, that is a mouthful, so we simply call it MACD. A MACD is a trend momentum indicator that shows the relationship between two moving averages, EMAs, of a crypto or stocks. Price. We use it to spot buy and sell signals to tell us when a crypto or stock is bullish or bearish. Um, the formula for MACD is right above. It is a 26 period EMA subtracted by the 12 period EMA and that equals MACD. MACD is our blue line. The red line is our signal line. So these lines are plotted together along with the histogram and we are able to see spot divergences and crossovers. So let's go ahead and get into it and I'm going to show you what those are on the chart. So this is our MACD indicator. If you want to get to MACD indicator, you would go ahead and click indicators. You can type in MACD. There it is. We're not going to do that because we already have it here. If you want to format your MACD differently, you would, you would go ahead and um, right click, click format, and you can go ahead and modify these lines accordingly. Um, if you want to change the color or the size, you can do that here as well. I'm not going to do that because everything is set up for me. So this blue line here, this is your MACD. This is what our equation, we solve the equation to get this MACD line. And then we use it in conjunction with the signal line, um, which is essentially the EMA9. And when we're able to use it to get crossovers. Um, crossovers indicate if the market is bullish or bearish. So in the blue line, the MACD is above the red line, the signal line, this would be bullish. And as we can see, price is pumping, price is going up. When we get a bearish crossover, that is when the blue line, the MACD line, crosses below the red signal line. So that would indicate a sell signal and price would fall. A bullish signal is when the blue is above the red, which the MACD is above the red signal line. So this would be a bullish crossover. Our histogram right here measures the distance between the signal line and the MACD. When we have the signal line above, um, this is our technically our baseline, it's at zero here. When the, the histogram is above that, that would technically be bullish. We can see as the, the histogram is above that and we have these lines going upward, price is essentially following that. Well, the histogram is technically calculating that pushing or the showing upward action. Um, when price falls below the signal line here, we see some bearish action, which we saw over here. Um, so those are crossovers when you get your MACD um, either crossing over or under the signal line. It tells you when to buy or sell. Please do keep in mind that the MACD is a lagging indicator and it is an indicator of an indicator. So most traders and buys or most people that use MACD, they use it with other indicators as well. You can use it however you like, but I just wanted to go ahead and give the basics of how to use it and why to use it. So you can also use it to spot divergences. Divergences are very pretty rare with MACD and price, but you still can use them. Up above is the divergence chart. You can go ahead and use this. But a bullish divergence is a lower low on price and a higher low on MACD. Bearish divergence is a higher high on price and a lower high on MACD. So this video was intended just to give you a basic overview of what MACD is and how to use it. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope to catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching.